Hello, this is Robert at Guzzi Fabrication. Well, we've got a new one in 1963 SS Impala convertible. Yeah, here it comes. All the way from New York. Pulling into the parking lot. Yeah, this guy was a really good driver. Uh, yeah, he put it right at the door. It was kind of congested in there, so... Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Driver. Yeah, it's nice when they, uh, roll freely. Now, this one doesn't have a motor transmission in it. It's been pretty much stripped by the owner and then shipped to us. And hey, there's even air in the tires. That's a huge plus. And of course, this one was uh, all the way at the front. And what we're going to be doing to this car, more than likely, floor, trunk, upper trunk, uh, quarter panels... And just inspecting it on the carrier, well, it looks like there's probably a considerable amount of body filler in this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get this all tore down, then follow the formula. Media Blast, DP90, epoxy primer, and then we'll assess what we have left. Yeah, the Media Blasting will definitely uncover a lot and then we'll be able to really see what we have and I get that question a lot you know guys will come in and say uh, you know hey how much for this car to refinish or to work on and you really don't know until everything is uncovered I mean it, yeah it's it, it's just irresponsible to uh, to throw out pricing and I don't like to do that so we're going to get this thing stripped down, media blasted, then we're going to see what we have. And there it is. Bright sunny day, red 63 convertible. <laughs> Does it get any better? And like I mentioned, this is an actual SS car. And for anybody who's new to the game, SS stands for Super Sport. Yeah, on the surface it looks straight, but I can tell there's some uh, checking and cracking. And the uh, uh, car was probably refinished probably about 15 or 20 years ago, maybe a little longer. Still looks like in pretty decent shape. I've started with uh, quite a bit worse. At any rate, man, by the time we're finished, it's going to be really, really nice. We're going to do a real nice job for the customer. They will definitely be happy that they chose our shop. And a little quick shot of the inside. Yeah, there's no obvious huge holes or anything, but I did notice looking underneath quite a bit of uh, metal patching. And that's just common. Yeah, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. And I've already spied some uh, rust in the usual areas. But, I mean, overall, looks uh, in pretty decent shape. They don't make glove box doors like that anymore. That's for sure. And just walking up to this car, 
if when I walk up to a car, what I'm doing, I'm assessing it, and I'm looking at all of the body lines. And what I mean by that is the actually the gaps between the panels. If they're parallel, if they're uh, closer on one side than the other, um, and the hood and deck lid never lie, and that'll tell you a lot about the car. If the hood and deck lid have parallel lines all the way around on the three sides, that's a huge, huge plus. And it's going to be interesting to see that area after it's media blasted. And inside that wrapped up blanket or uh, towel is trim. There's a shot of the original speckle trunk paint. And I had a couple of questions about what brand I use of the uh, speckle paint. And I mix my own personally. It just seems that works out better. Apply a base and then uh, maybe a couple of colors depending on the year. And there's the passenger side. No huge obvious problems. Looks like a pretty decent convertible. Yeah, I can only imagine buying something like this brand new. How cool would that have been? The first time the top was down and arm over the uh, arm over the seat, just cruising. Yeah, that was. I bet that was uh, something. Pretty nice grill and front bumper. Can't complain on that. Hey, we just finished up the 62 Impala. And if you care to go back and check out that whole metalwork build, check it out on the playlist and uh, stick around. We're going to go all the way through this one. And this has one of the best looking core supports I've ever seen. And it's, it's weird because the core support, no issues. But this hood, yeah, there's some issues with the hood. Just a quick glance at it. It's probably a candidate for a new hood. Hey, hit that like and subscribe, man, and uh, stick around. We're going to... Make this thing beautiful again. Ship it back to New York as always. Thanks for watching.